Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing, I'm going to, see, I'm going to do a review of the Golf Buddy AIM Golf Watch. I've not done any research on this thing whatsoever. I literally took it out of the box before I arrived, fired it up on the first tee. I don't know what its capabilities are. I've not read the instructions. And the reason I've not done that, because let's be fair, when we buy something, then if you're like me, I don't read it. I just try and figure it out as I go. So I'm going to try and figure out as I go, this watch find out what it's got what 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 features does it have how easy are the features to use how accurate most importantly are the yardages so i'm going to be comparing it to a i've got a range finder in my bag and i get some front middle and back using my range finders and get an approximation of and a comparison between the watch the gps and how how is the gps up there how are the satellites doing in comparison to the range finders so that's the that probably the most important thing about all golf watches the numbers have to be correct, okay? Then you've got all these sexy little functions that you can use well. How far has your shot's gone? Can you keep your score? Have you got a scorecard on there? That stuff I'm not that bothered about, but we're gonna see if the watch has it and how good of a function it actually is. So I'm at Great Torrington Golf Club and we're gonna go out, we're gonna play nine holes and we're gonna test out the watch. Go on, get up. We could be putting for eagle. Front edge of the green, 24 yards front. Back fringe, I'm getting 52. This is giving me 52 and 25. So I trust it already, okay? I'm quite happy with it, I trust it already. Middle of the green, 37. Flag looks like it's just past the middle. Now I'm going to play the shot, okay? So it's all going a little bit from left to right. Tight lie. I mean, it's not going that much from left to right, is it? <laughs> that was like super safe. For unknown reasons. That's not a bad putt. Watch said amazing putt. Didn't really. All right, we're in for a par to start with. And also, what I want to mention as well, you can have this watch, you can win it. Okay, all I want you to do is subscribe to the channel, comment below and say, give me a golf buddy watch. And you know what, I'm doing that early on in the video because I want you all to be in with a chance of winning it. So just comment below, give me a golf buddy watch, subscribe to the channel. You know what, as a little Brucey bonus, even like the video, that would be amazing for me. Hits the algorithm of YouTube and that means you are in the draw to win one of these, whether I give it a good or a bad review or not. Right, so as I was walking onto the tee, the watch vibrated to tell me it had changed holes, which I actually think is a very good feature because you do get a lot of golf courses that are quite tight in or they have the crossovers and if the GPS gets a bit confused and, it doesn't, and you don't realize it's changed holes, it could be an absolute disaster. So fair play, a decent little, decent little addition that, right. 286 front, 298 back middle, 313 back. It was a spinny hit. Wasn't my best, but it's bang on line. Oh, sit, that was a huge bounce. Nice birdie up the second hole there, one under through two, get in. I've just been playing around with the functionality of the watch and you can do a shot distance. So I, from the main screen, I swiped left and I found shot distance. I presume if I press play, I'll hit my shot. It'll measure me from where I am now. When I get to the ball, if I remember, I'll need to press stop. And that's how far I will have hit the golf ball. So driver. Do not embarrass me, okay? I want at least 370. Or we're blaming the watch. Oh, I've ripped it. What a time to rip it when you're under the gun and you've got a little driver thing going on. Right, let's get up there and see what the distance is saying. 255, now in fairness, it is blowing a gale. It's quite windy into me. You can see me nearly falling over uphill into wind yeah i can see how it's only 250 huge slope here it's probably come backwards right the flag is 117 
the middle of the green is 112, 125 to go over the back. And this is where I think watches a million times better than rangefinders. Although I might not be able to get an exact measurement on the flag, from here you can notice I can't see anything, hence why that drive went a bit shorter. But what I do know is I've got a picture in my mind through the watch, 98 front, 125 back. So I've got a gap wedge in hand knowing that I'm slightly into wind, slightly uphill, 125 to 130 maximum is how far my gap wedge goes, uphill into wind, it's definitely not going over the back. So although I can't see the flag, it's a blind second shot to the flag. I'm playing for the middle of the green. But they won't stop me going left when I pull it off an uphill lie. That's gonna be a horrible pitch. Okay, so two things I was right about with that last shot is the gap push can't go over the back, uphill into wind from that club. I knew that, okay, I'm, I was correct. I'm pin high middle-ish of the green. Another thing I was right about is when the ball is so far above your feet, allow for it. What an idiot. I am literally 15 yards left of the green. And even to make matters worse, the watch vibrated and told me I'm on the next hole. I know. Could be over the back. Oh, chip for par. Okay. That was a fun bogey. Okay, so back to level par. Fourth hole. This would be a good hole to get a comparison of distances between a golf watch and a range finder. So I'm gonna go with the very back fringe, middle of the green, back fringe is giving me 219. Oh, 219, seriously, that's ridiculous. Um, let's go front edge. Best I can get is 200. Yeah, watch is giving me 197. This is giving me 201, 202. Obviously depends if I'm actually zapping the front edge of the green, but it's very, very close again. Flag looks like it's just forward of the front edge, but not in the middle. So it's 209 middle, 198 front, so it's a 205-ish flag. Downhill, downwind, very firm and very, very bouncy. So probably playing 170. Not that far left. So close. Right, I can give myself that just for the purpose of the video. Here's another bogey. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right, so as mentioned before, you can keep score, so you just click on score, click on the hole, so it's hole number five. I made a par, so it's stroke, three strokes. Okay, two puts, okay. For example, if I went back to the previous hole, I just kind of filled that in. Hole number, oh, this is actually hole number three, where I had an absolute disaster. I actually made a bogey with one putt. Keep score. All right, so it's given me now a total of one over par, which is correct. And you can see the top of the screen there, the golf course that I am playing at. Pretty cool feature. Some of that, I personally, I don't use it. I will never use this, but some golfers out there will. So it's available, happy days. Okay, so I can just about see the green on this sixth hole. It's 232 yards to the very front edge. 254 to run out. It's downwind. It's a slight bit downhill, and I know it is super firm. So I've gone down a club. I've gone down to a four iron. This yardage for me would actually normally be a perfect three iron. 335 carry to the front edge would be ideal, but it's just too bouncy. And I'm not really going to hit this one pat like full. I'm going to kind of flight it so it does get that little bit of run when it lands just like that. Just stayed a little bit left on me again like I've done all day. I've not quite got that fade going. Massive kick right though. Okay, so one of the really cool things about this watch is actually on the normal page, you've got front, middle and back, okay? But if you swipe from right to left, you will see a full hole layout. 
So it will give you distances to certain parts of the fairway or give you distances to the front of the green as well, or give you just an overall view of what the hole looks like. Because particularly here, actually, if you've never played here, you can't see all of the fairways or all of the holes. And sometimes it's a little bit blind. So that's a really cool way to kind of get an overview of the hole. Also, it gives you distances to every hazard. So if you swipe across again, it'll give you distances to bunkers and water hazards as well. So again, it gives you an idea of, you're able to paint a bit more of a picture in your mind based on how the hole is laid out and obviously where the trouble is as well. So fair play golf buddy, that is pretty good. I hope you're enjoying this video so far. Don't forget, you could be in the chance to win one of these watches. All you've got to do is comment below give me a golf buddy watch and also please make sure that you subscribe to the channel so much content i'm actually really happy with the quality of the content and the amount of content that's gone out recently so please do support the channel just click the subscribe and even click the like because i think youtube really likes that for their algorithm they love a like so i would like a like as well but yeah if you want to be in go for it Drivable par four, 220 to the middle of the green. It's kind of a little dog leg round to the right side as we could see on the map. The wind's helping it that way as well. So I'm just gonna try and hit my new non-fade and let the wind hit it. It's, I mean, I've done exactly what I said I'm gonna do. Let's see what happens. I'm happy with it. Came out a little bit low, <laughs> but I'm happy with it. Okay, I made it to pin high. Didn't quite get the turn. So I'm literally in line with the green. I'm gonna try and land this on the green so it gets a bit of bite. That's short of the green. So now it's not gonna get any bite. It's not worked out too bad though. Sometimes when you land the ball off the green, it doesn't get the receptive bounce that you're always looking for. It takes the spin off and it shoots forward. Another opportunity. On another day, I feel like I'd be like four under by now. Um, this has got to go in really. Left edge. Not much on it. <laughs> oh, you got a lap, haven't you? If you've got any questions on this Golf Buddy watch, please do just drop them in the comment section below. I've probably missed something. But what I wanted to try and do with this review is actually just review it as if I have literally just picked it up from the shop, which I basically did do. It got delivered this morning and I put it on my wrist as I got to the first tee. I've done no research on it, which maybe I should do if I'm doing a review, but I wanted to make it like how you would kind of go out onto the golf course with it, or certainly how I would go on the golf course with it. I wouldn't sit there reading instructions. No one reads instructions these days. We figure it out ourselves, or at least I think most of us do. So that's what I wanted to do. I found out some really cool features as I'm going round. So if there's anything I've missed on this video, drop them in the comment section below and I'll answer any questions. Guys, thanks for watching, and as ever, please do hit that subscribe button. If you want to be in the draw to win one of these watches, again, don't forget to subscribe and also like the video. And lastly, just comment saying, give me a golf buddy watch. Guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again in another video.